A Dalton home that she leased to Mayor Tiffany Henyard has filed eviction papers. She says Henyard has not paid her rent, and now she wants her- Now she's teasing a big announcement that she claims will result in some of her opponents being arrested and charged. Let's dive into the escalating drama surrounding Mayor Tiffany Henyard, a tale of alleged power abuse, lavish spending, and audacious threats that's bound to leave you questioning her motives. Henyard's recent actions have ignited public outrage with accusations of unpaid rent, excessive spending, and even threats to arrest her critics. This scandal is brewing fast, with many shocked by her apparent sense of entitlement and disregard for accountability. If you thought local politics couldn't get any spicier, think again. This story has it all. Scandal, corruption, and a mayor who seemingly views herself as untouchable. The community is reeling as Henyard navigates her political path with seeming recklessness, brushing off the growing concerns of her constituents. Many are questioning how someone in her position could act so boldly, dismissing the grievances of those she's meant to serve. As tensions rise and accusations mount, local media and residents are watching closely, eager to see how this saga unfolds. With Henyard's actions under increasing scrutiny, the spotlight is firmly on her leadership and integrity. This unfolding situation raises serious concerns about potential abuses within local government and leaves many wondering how far she'll go before facing consequences. Stay tuned as this story continues to unravel, exposing just how deep the corruption may run and whether anyone will hold Henyard accountable for her actions. Tiffany Henyard's landlord, and she says she came to this Thornton Township meeting Tuesday night hoping to get paid. What she says Tiffany she's Henyard, who proudly dubs herself a super mayor, might soon be facing a far less glamorous reality than her oversized paycheck. Picture this. She's been living large, spending public funds, clashing with local officials, and even threatening arrests all while behind on her own rent payments. That's right, despite drawing a substantial salary as the mayor of Dalton and supervisor of Thornton Township, Henyard has reportedly been dodging rent on her own home. Her landlord, Janetta Hall, is at her wit's end, trying to get her to move out. Now imagine being a town mayor while owing thousands in back rent. Quite the scandal, right? But that's just scratching the surface. Buckle up, because we're diving into the full story of this controversial figure. The eviction drama alone sets the stage for the kind of arrogance Henyard is accused of showing. Here's how it all started. Hull, who once campaigned for Henyard and even considered her a friend, had planned to rent her home to another family in 2021. Then, out of the blue, she received a late-night call from Henyard herself, asking to rent the property instead. Feeling pressured, it's not every day the town mayor asks to move into your place, Hull reluctantly agreed. What could go wrong, as it turns out, quite a lot? Just pay a special process in order to get them served. Fast forward to 2023 and Mayor Tiffany Henyard's situation has spiraled, revealing a troubling pattern that raises serious concerns about her judgment and integrity. Recently, her landlord, Miss Hull, decided to increase the rent by a modest $200 due to rising property taxes. Henyard, alongside her boyfriend, Kamal Woods, who also works in local government and earns a six-figure salary, took issue with this increase. Remarkably, despite a combined income of over $300,000 annually, they claimed they couldn't afford the extra $200 per month. This claim has baffled many especially given their financial standing. Not only did they refuse to pay the adjusted rent, but they allegedly stopped making payments altogether. Hull claims the last payment she received was in August, leaving over $5,000 in back rent and late fees. Rather than addressing these obligations, Henyard reportedly took extreme measures, changing the locks on the house and garage, effectively barring Hull from accessing her own property for maintenance. This bold move suggests that Henyard might believe her mayoral position exempts her from respecting property rights or the law. It's as if she thinks her political power shields her from the consequences of her actions, even when it concerns someone else's property. This entire situation paints a troubling picture of a public official who appears to be using her position to sidestep responsibilities and assert control over her landlord's property. Critics argue that Henyard's actions not only jeopardize her personal integrity, but also question her ability to lead her community effectively. The implications go beyond a simple landlord-tenant dispute, 
suggesting potential issues of corruption and abuse of power in local government. With her boyfriend Kamal Woods also involved, concerns are growing over how their financial decisions reflect on their public roles. Community members are increasingly vocal, demanding accountability as more details emerge, casting doubt on Henyard's political future and possibly triggering broader investigations. This saga is a stark reminder of the responsibilities that come with public office and the accountability that elected officials owe their communities. As the situation continues to unfold, many are eagerly awaiting justice and accountability in the face of what appears to be a blatant disregard for ethical and legal standards. Here because I'm at what's end and I fear that I'm going to go into foreclosure soon if I can't get that. By 2023, the situation surrounding Mayor Tiffany Henyard has spiraled, exposing a series of troubling events that call her judgment and integrity into question. Recently, her landlord, Ms. Hull, decided to raise the rent by a modest $200 due to rising property taxes. Henyard, along with her boyfriend, Kamal Woods, also a public official with a six-figure salary, objected to this increase. Astonishingly, despite a combined income of over $300,000 annually, the couple claimed they couldn't afford the additional $200 a month. This claim has raised eyebrows, especially given their financial situation. Not only did they refuse to pay the increased rent, but they reportedly stopped paying altogether. According to Hall, the last payment she received was in August, leaving her with over $5,000 in overdue rent and late fees. Rather than addressing their obligations, Henyard allegedly went a step further by changing the locks on the house and garage, effectively barring Hull from accessing her own property for essential maintenance. This bold move suggests that Henyard may believe her role as mayor entitles her to act without regard for the law or others' rights. It's as if she considers her political power a shield against accountability, even when it concerns someone else's property. This situation paints a troubling portrait of a public official, seemingly using her position to sidestep responsibilities and assert control over her landlord's property. Critics argue that Henyard's actions raise serious questions about her integrity and fitness to lead. The implications extend beyond a simple landlord-tenant dispute hinting at potential issues of power abuse within local government. With her boyfriend Kamal Woods also implicated, the community is increasingly concerned about how their financial decisions reflect on their public roles. Frustrated residents are now demanding accountability, as each new detail casts more doubt on Henyard's political future and raises the possibility of broader investigations. This saga serves as a stark reminder of the responsibilities that come with public office, and the accountability elected officials owe their communities. As the situation unfolds, many are watching closely, hopeful for justice and accountability in the face of what appears to be a blatant disregard for legal and ethical standards. Redundant, and we're getting tired of coming here not having the laws followed, not having- The rent scandal surrounding Mayor Tiffany Henyard is just a glimpse into her deeper troubles. While she's busy dodging eviction, a much bigger storm has gathered. The FBI is now investigating her for potential corruption. That's right, the FBI. When federal agents get involved, it's a clear sign that things are serious. Much of this scrutiny stems from Henyard's handling or mishandling of Dalton's finances, which have plunged into millions of dollars of debt. For many, this financial collapse falls squarely on her shoulders due to what appears to be reckless spending. Her personal financial issues are alarming enough, but they pale in comparison to her management of taxpayer money. In a shocking twist, former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot was even brought in to investigate Dalton's financial debacle, and her findings were damning. Under Henyard's leadership, Dalton's general fund went from a healthy $5.61 million in April 2022 to a deficit of nearly $4 million by May 2024. How does a town go from millions in the bank to being in the red? Lightfoot's investigation points to a pattern of financial irresponsibility and questionable spending habits that cast serious doubts on Henyard's decision-making skills. This isn't just about financial mismanagement, it's about accountability. The implications of this scandal reach beyond mere numbers, casting a shadow over Henyard's entire administration. 
Calls for accountability are growing louder as community members question whether she's fit to lead in such turbulent times. With the investigation progressing and pressure mounting, Henyard's actions could reshape Dalton's future and potentially end her political career. This unfolding story highlights the importance of transparency and accountability from elected officials. As the investigation continues, the community is left hoping for a resolution that restores integrity and fiscal responsibility to local government. The stakes are high, and all eyes are on Henyard as the public demands answers.